This year, Vancouver purchased the new City Hall building for roughly half of its actual value. Located next to Esther Short Park, it's in the epicenter of downtown redevelopment the city has worked so hard to create. The city purchased this building at a unique opportunity. We're in the right place at the right time. The property is going through foreclosure. We, were, we had the opportunity to buy the building from the bank um, for roughly $18.5 million, which included the property to the south of this building. The new city hall now serves citizens from one central location. The consolidation from five city buildings to one saves citizens time and money. When we bought this building, we were in five different locations. Four of the five were leased properties. And uh, what we've been able to do is consolidate those five locations into one building. So by consolidating from five buildings to one, we um, anticipate about a million dollar savings in not having to pay lease payments compared to what our mortgage payment would be for this building. The new City Hall will allow citizens the opportunity for one-stop shopping of most city services. At the 415 building, citizens can apply for a building permit, sign up for a parks program, or pay a water bill, just to name a few. Police, fire, and public works operations remain at their existing facilities, but all other city services moved into the new City Hall. This building actually is an example of uh, us being a little bit smarter with the services that we provide consolidating from five locations that were spread across 10 miles in the city down to one lo central location downtown. It's easily accessible to most of the city and provides efficiency and effectiveness of services, an example of doing it a little bit smarter. And we're also doing that across every service area that we, we provide. We're looking at reinventing, reengineering, and reforming the way we provide service so that we can do the best that we can with the resources that we have so we can efficiently, effectively, and accountably provide service to the citizens that we serve. Of the six floors, the first floor contains city departments, while the other two top floors are rented by private tenants. This helps underwrite part of the mortgage for the building. With many energy efficiencies that will save the city $80,000 in annual energy costs. What's nice about lead certification is this building will operate 50% more efficient than a building not built LEED certified. And some of the uh, advantages of this building is natural daylighting, so less light is required internally. The uh, heating system is supplied by geothermal wells, so we actually heat the building off of the groundwater. Recent key capital investments have stretched the length of the city east to west. These include the Furstenberg Community Center, renovation of Marshall Community Center, and major infrastructure enhancements that will help fuel future development along the 192nd Avenue corridor. The reason why we're here uh, is to provide public, essential public services to the citizens that we serve. And it's everything from uh, parks and recreation that help make this a livable place, to public safety, police, fire, the courts and justice system, uh, to keep it a safe community, as well as uh, streets, sewer, water, basic infrastructure that helps allow people to get around safely, have safe drinking water, and we dispose of uh, wastewater safely. And those are really the fundamental underpinnings of uh, the economy, uh, the, the, uh, the foundation upon which the economy is built. Uh, and the commitment of the City Council is to do that uh, progressively, do it responsibly, do it efficiently and effectively so that we are the best stewards we can be of the tax dollars that uh, our community pays for those services.